So that was Frankie and Johnny And that's the end of my song She put a hose in his tailpipe Cause he had done her wrong He was her man And that's all she wrote Garrison Keillor's beloved A Prairie Home Companion comes to the big screen with some A-list stars in some key roles. I'm Richard Roper. And I'm Roger Ebert. Robert Altman's new film, A Prairie Home Companion, is a movie you want to cuddle it so funny and sweet and so perfectly in the spirit of Garrison Keillor's great radio program. Keillor plays himself as the laid-back host of the program that's going off the air after one last broadcast. He refuses to get sentimental about it, but everyone else does. Backstage, Meryl Streep plays a singer who hopes her daughter, played by Lindsay Lohan, can appear on the farewell show. I would just like there to be... A spot for Lola on the show later. Hope so. There's time. Well, this isn't really going to be your last show, is it? Every show's your last show. That's my philosophy. Thank you, Plato. And we've also got John C. Riley and Woody Harrelson trying to one-up each other with cornball jokes. And Streep has a great comic duet with Lily Tomlin in the movie. She was diagnosed hypoglycemic. And so she forgets she didn't pay for the donut, and she walks out the door. Was it two minutes? For the red lights are flashing, and, and she's in handcuffs. There. Yep. She was and the cameras, the TV camera, the station the came news. right down. It's on the news. And her hair's like sticking out like this, she and she's bawling. And Daddy sees it on the ten o'clock newscast. Kevin Klein plays the private eye Guy Noir, who is a character on the radio show, but here moves into the same world as the others, as the man in charge of security. You are fat. You, you, you might think about cutting down on the uh, desserts and the beer and uh, also possibly sex with men. Tommy Lee Jones is the man who's bought the theater and is going to tear it down and put up a parking lot. Virginia Madsen is angelic as his mysterious visitor. I used to listen to this show every week. Well, it was great in its time, but the time's up. Life moves on. It does. So be careful driving tonight. You need to live somewhere? There's a shortcut to the airport. A steep hill followed by a series of sharp curves and a large oak tree. I felt good during this movie from the beginning to the end. It was as warm and embracing as the radio show itself, and yet it was something more. There's a sense of elegy in the film, a sense that something wonderful is coming to an end, and the way to handle that is not to regret it, but to treasure the memories. The program's actual sound man and house band play themselves, and Keeler drives everyone crazy by being so casual he can barely make it to the microphone. Mm. And the music and the jokes all work, and the timing between Tomlin and Streep is awesome. Thumbs way up. Well, good for you. I'm glad you're going to enjoy your cuddling with this movie. I'm giving it thumbs down. You're not. I do think... You're giving and I this do, movie thumbs down. I am giving this movie thumbs down. I'm going to tell you why. Appearance, you have the appearance of a human being, but I'm, in fact, <laughs> you are an android. Well, you're, you're the one cuddling with a movie. Um, I think it has a lot of spirit and style. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with my, my thumbs down, Roger, has to do with the fact that I'm not a fan of a Prairie Home Companion. Oh, wow. um, I've always found it to be a little, a little smug, a little elitist. And you talk about the jokes and the music. Either you like that brand of music and humor, or you don't. Well, I I'm not a huge of jokes fan. All the time. You do. I'm here for them. And I think if, if you haven't noticed for the last six years, um, you know, I often leave the room when you get to your third or fourth joke. Really um, awesome. You know, Garrison Keillor does a lot of that. You know, this show is brought to you by Johnson Shoe Polish. It's polished for your shoes. I, I mean, like and you either like that or you I don't. I like it. And there must be about thirty songs in this movie. Yeah. I don't. I don't find them that entertaining. How about Red River Valley? How about it? You're not going to get a better song than that. It's not, it's, it's not for me. I don't enjoy that kind of music. I don't enjoy well, that kind of I humor. Say is Performances are very good. And I will say this. Somebody like Lindsay Lohan, we just saw in a horrible comedy called mm -hmm. Just My Luck mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago. She's wonderful well, here. Well, I'm going to say this. Role. There are people who love the radio show. Of course. And millions. Probably, and they thought millions. this movie was going to screw it up. It doesn't. No. Well, if you love the, Keeler wrote the movie. You know. If you love the radio show, you're going to love the movie. Yes. And I think it's very much an Altman movie as well as a Prairie Home Companion movie. I like the Altman part of the equation more than the Prairie Home Companion part of the equation. Let's move on. An android. Right. You're an android. What?